How's it going guys, it's Chucky here. As you likely know, there's dozens of different companies now that make different types of peripherals for gaming, such as mice, keyboards, mouse pads, and other things. If you know a lot about these, then you'll know about the company Glorious. Their original mouse, the Model O, was known to be one of the absolute best gaming mouse that you could buy. It was 67 grams, RGB, and anything else that you wanted in the mouse. There was, of course, complaints about this though. So a week ago, they released their newest mouse, the Model D. It features a slightly different shape, a different cable, and a few other minor improvements. So with the Model O being such a big thing in the Minecraft community, I decided to give you all an in-depth review on whether or not it's worth it to upgrade to the Model D. Just as a reminder before the video starts, most of you who are watching this video aren't subscribed, so please take a moment out of your day to click the subscribe button and enjoy the video. I'm going to split this video up into a few sections, starting off with looking at the mouse and seeing what the changes are, and then I'm going to play a few games with each one and tell you which one I prefer and if it's worth it to upgrade. So starting off with the Model O here, I have a black glossy version of the mouse, which actually makes it one gram heavier, but you can't really tell between the two from what I've seen. The main thing that I've noticed about the Model O compared to the Model D is when you have your hand on it in a basic grip here, both of your fingers seem to rest perfectly on the smaller thumb buttons, making it pretty easy to press the both of them without too much of an effort. It's also got much more of a symmetrical shape, there's much less for your fourth finger and fifth finger to rest on, meaning that they usually just have to grab onto the side of the mouse or rest on the mouse pad. The Model D, however, does feel a lot bigger in the hand. It's got much more of a side area to rest your fingers on, and the thumb buttons are much larger compared to the Model O. In the grip that I use, my thumb rests more on the front mouse button compared to the back mouse buttons, so I'd have to be using the bottom part of my thumb to press the back button without moving it too far. This can be a little bit of an issue if you have keybinds bound to the mouse buttons, but after a little bit of getting used to it, I found that it's alright. In terms of the RGB lighting on the mice, they're both pretty similar. The only reason that they look different is the colours. The lighting on the black Model O does look a bit dimmer, but that's just because of the colour of the mouse. A white Model O would have much better lighting. So in terms of aesthetics, go for a white mouse regardless of which type. The main complaints that Glorious got about the Model O was about the cable. Now the Model O cable is a lot flatter than the Model D's. It seems to just be a piece of wiring that is very prone to twisting and stretching. I've heard a lot of stories about people getting the Model O out of the box and the wire already having a little bit of a kink in it due to the packaging. So that's something important to look out for. The Model D has much more of a circular or cylindrical cable. It's very easy to fit into mouse bungees and it hasn't got twisted nearly as much as my Model O's had. Personally, I think the mouse buttons between the two mouses is one of the biggest differences. As you can see quite clearly, the Model D has very big mouse buttons and they're about halfway up the length of the mouse at the top of them. Whereas the Model O's buttons are much thinner and about halfway up the mouse. This difference is just completely down to preference. After using the Model D for a bit, I found that I actually prefer these ones. It's much harder to miss the button that you're pressing on. And for other games such as first person shooters, these buttons are actually in a really good position for me due to the grip that I use. When I'm playing Minecraft though, my butterfly click grip is a bit difficult to press these mice, but usually it's all right. And it's just, again, something that you can get used to. The glides on the mice are broadly similar, but the Model D does come with extra glides that you can fit onto the top and the bottom, if you would prefer it to have a much smoother feel. I don't use these personally as I feel like the four of them is just enough, but if you play on an even lower sensitivity than me, then you might prefer it. Now the reason that the Model O was such a popular mouse in Minecraft specifically, is that you were actually able to click up to 20 CPS on the mouse very easily. This was done by butterfly clicking on the mouse and reducing the debounce time to 4 milliseconds in the settings. So after doing this for both mice and practicing a little bit on the two of them, I'm going to show you me butterfly clicking to the best of my ability on both of them and see which one is better at it. So pretty casually clicking on the Model O, it's what you've always seen. It goes between, you know, 13 all the way up to 20 CPS if you're trying really hard. At the moment I'm not trying too hard, but you can see it's spiking up to 19 CPS and above. The Model D again is pretty similar. I'm not too used to clicking on this mouse, but you can see it's going 16 CPS and sometimes above. The Model D requires a little bit of a different grip, and I don't consistently get as high of a CPS. It's still pretty good and you're much less likely to get banned from servers such as Vineman Club doing this. Since not all of you like doing butterfly clicking, you might have different styles such as normal clicking on the Model O or jitter clicking. So I thought just for those of you who won't be butterfly clicking, I thought I'd show you me jitter clicking on the mouse. The Model O is pretty easy to jitter click on. I don't usually get above 14 CPS, but that's just because I'm not very good at jitter clicking. You may be able to get more if you're better. I have found though that the Model D has much more of a resistance when jitter clicking. This may be just because it's a new mouse or because it's matte. Even when it's normal clicking like this, it does have a little bit more of a press down. So overall, out of the box, I think the Model O is better for clicking fast. I personally prefer clicking on the Model D, mainly because it has a much nicer sound than the Model O, but also just because it has more feedback and I just prefer it. Since I mentioned the sounds on the two of them, I'm going to click on both the mice just to see which one you think sounds nicer.
Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the gameplay part of the mice. I'm going to play one UH Seedle and one game of Skywars on each of the mice and tell you which I prefer. I'm also going to leave a CPS counter in the bottom right of the screen just so you can see what I'm getting when I'm actually playing. One last thing for the gameplay, it's also important to note that I'm playing on 33% sensitivity on 800 DPI. Okay, so moving on to the duel with the Model D. This is the mouse that I've been playing a lot more with recently, so I'm much more used to the weight and the feel of it. So if my aim's a little bit better on this one, that'll be why. I do use my two mouse buttons. The front one is my 8th slot, and the back one is my ninth slot. So when I place blocks down like that, you'll see me change my... Uh, You'll see me change my grip a little bit, just because it's much easier for me to press it in that grip. Oh, poor man. See right there, I missed my uh, ninth slot there, just because the button's in a little bit of a weird spot for me. That loss had nothing really to do with the mouse, that was just me being bad, but I commentated it and you did see the flaws and the good things about the mouse, so I'm going to leave that one in. Moving back to Skywars now, I'm going to go back to Model O for this. You're going to see a lot more of the right click bind as well as the mouse button 4 and mouse button 5 binds, so, so keep an eye out for those two things. That's alright. Oh, that guy's just going in. Can I catch him? I can. That's not good. One HP. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what has happened there, but I'm, I lived, so I'm okay with it. Someone behind you, don't push me. Oh, you have no HP. Oh, they're just cross-teaming? Ah! Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought it was. Collect the arrows of them. Okay, that's one dead. And oh, no, that's both of them dead. Okay. Okay, so that's proof that the Model O is pretty good. It gets you through anything that you need. It's pretty difficult to click fast on the right click button I found, but apart from that, it's pretty good. It can even get you the win over 12 star cross teamers. Okay, so I'm on the Model D now on Aegis. The server's really laggy in this match, so I'm just gonna show you the best of my ability, how this is working, how this mouse works. I just gotta kill somehow, I don't know who from. And this guy will not stop running, okay, there we go. I want to take this cap. As far as the two mice go in size, the Model D is much bigger while still maintaining the exact same weight as the other one. Even seeming to glide a little bit more, but that could just be down to the fact that my Model D is a little bit newer. You can click pretty fast as well on the right click button on this mouse too. And overall I think it's a much more solid mouse compared to the Model O.
Just in that match, it's clear that it's much easier to click fast on the right click button. However, it does seem a lot easier to click the mouse button 4 on the Model D, and a lot harder to click the mouse button 5 on this mouse. Okay, so a summary of those few games there, I did find the Model D much more fun to play on. The feedback does seem to be a lot higher when clicking on this mouse compared to the Model O. This one seems a whole lot more rattly compared to this mouse. This one is so much smaller compared to this one, but that is just completely preference. The weight is exactly the same, so it's just depending on your hand size, your grip, and other things like that. I won't end this off by saying that it is just a preference thing. The Model D is a better mouse. Personally, I think the cable should be enough to swing your entire opinion regardless. It's so much easier to manage and use in a mouse bungee compared to the Model O. Out of the two mice here, the Model D is just way more stable and just overall better than the Model O. I should mention as well that both of the mice are exactly the same price at the moment. It's probably still a little bit easy to find this as this one may be sold out in a bunch of different places that you're looking. But personally, I think it's definitely worth it to go for the Model D over the Model O. And again, please go for white, it's so much prettier. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video and either of the mice in the comments below. And apart from that, I'll see you all later. Peace.